I am Hannah Opitz, a Brazilian astrologer, and I'm here to talk about the house and the symbols and astrology and what you can do in your house, in your life to improve everything. I'm going to start with a little story I read two months ago in Facebook. A little girl comes to the grandmother and says, Grandmother, uh, I have a problem. I don't know how to solve it. Then the grandmother says, Go up and organize your drawers. Once you have everything organized, you're going to have the solution for your problem. And exactly this, I'm going to talk today about this subject, not just drawers, but mirrors and floor and table and dining room, desk, entrance hall, etc., etc., etc. All parts of the house you can analyze through astrology. You can understand what's going on in your house, watching your house, and then if, once you change something in your house, you also change this in your life. Uh, the basics of all this is the resonance, the esoteric knowledge that everything is in resonance. So, one part of the house is related to something inside of us, like uh, the house is a mirror of our soul. So, of our soul, of the soul from other people, persons that live in our house. So, once you know what the symbol means, you can be aware and say, oh, this here is telling me that this or this part is not so good in my life. So here, oh, these are the symbols for money in the house. These are the symbols for love, for food, for family, etc., etc. And once you notice this, you can change your life, improve your life. Another thing is you can improve your chart because, for instance, if you have Venus in cancer. If you uh, harmonize, fix, uh, improve, let all cancer parts in your house nice, you are making a good scenario for your Venus. And so your Venus is going to be, oof, I can, I can be really a Venus and not a Venus that's, oh, I can't move myself in this place, or uh, I can't act, I can love, uh, have relations the way I want. So you can do this for each planet. You see where the planet is, and you can then harmonize the place that corresponds in the house to the place uh, where the sign of your planet is. If you have a, a client, uh, if you are an astrologer, you have a client that comes to, your, to the reading and complains that, oh, the skin has lots of problems, wrinkles, or it's a teenager with pops, then you ask, uh, how is your entrance door? Is it clean? is full of rust, like the iron is getting red, the painting went out, or how is the entrance door? Probably they are going to say, oh, it's so old, it's so this, or so, or it has little animals on it, or some, something. So, then you just tell them, or you fix your uh, entrance door, and at the same time, something, it's like magic. Magic is everything you, we can't explain exactly how it happens. But if you, 
if you see that everything, energy is in resonance, once you find energy to clean, to fix, to harmonize your entrance door, at the same time, somebody comes to you and say, oh, I found a cream that is fantastic. Uh, you won't have allergy or so, or so, or so. And things always happen at the same time. The person fixed one part of the house. It's not the part that's going to make the, the miracle. But at the same time, they fix it or they harmonize at the same time, somebody or something comes in life and say, Oh, I have the solution. Oh, I know a doctor. Or I'm, I'm looking for somebody to come to work with me. Or this happens all the time. I call it Astro Feng Shui. The Feng Shui is just the meaning, just to make you under, uh, the person understand that it is astrology that has to do with our house the Astro Feng Shui compass, the life compass. At the outside part are the parts of the house and the inside parts of our lives, what it means. So, there are two ways to use this compass. The first is align number one to Aries, what is the original meaning of houses and signs. We're going to talk about each part very uh, in a Virgo way, very organized. But first, to, to give you an idea. Yeah, but why this is a compass? If this works for everybody, why this moves in the middle? Leo, lights, I, myself, this is lion. Who am I? What parts of the house are related to me, to what I'm proud of, myself, my identity? What symbolizes me, myself, and the house? Not everybody has a fireplace, but if you have a fireplace, this is lion. You can see that sometimes a person has over the fireplace, even if they don't have a fireplace, they have like a, a wood on the wall where they put what's important for them, like a ward they receive uh, from the ping pong or from the tennis, or from the golf club, or pro cow, or something important. Sometimes on the wall, on the fireplace, there is a, a portrait, a painting of the of the woman, or of the how, of the family, or of the children. This is very common. You see this on the fireplace. Lots of doctors say this. The intestine is the ba a good working intestine is the basis for for uh, good health. So, Virgo places and Virgo objects are very important for you to have a good health. And what are these parts? Every place where you clean something, it has rela is related to. Virgo. So, the laundry place. Sagittarius is the sign that wants the light, wants to, to the, the big questions, uh, how the universe is made, why I'm here, what should I believe. Uh, so the big questions, they are on the terrace, on the part that makes the link between the house and the spiritual. Sagittarius makes the link between us and the spiritual. If you want to make a big and nice trip, if you want to, to go to university, if you want to write a book, if you want to 
solve a problem, a legal problem. Or if you want to improve the relation with your brother-in-law, you have to harmonize your balcony, your terrace. Then you can tell me, oh, but I don't have a balcony and I don't have uh, a terrace. What I do? Well, you probably have windows. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you had some insights to improve your life. And I wish you the best. And hope to see you again.